Hello and welcome to another video about Sidecore Experience Accelerator. In this video I'm going to show you how you can configure default behavior of default SXA components and I'm especially looking at using your own data templates um, at default SXA components which is a very powerful functionality. So to do that we're going to the content editor and I'm going to a demo page that I have created already and I'm going to open this one in the experience editor uh, but in the meantime I'm going to show you what the default fields of a promo item are look like so I'm going to data folder and then the promo folder and in here I have two different promo items now when I select those you will see that the default fields are named like text image, link, text2, to, text3, to, etc. And personally I don't like the naming of these fields. So what I would like to do is create my own data template um, and attach it to the promo component so it will use those uh, fields that I like um, with my own data template instead of the default one. And I'm not going to do any custom coding, I'm not going to copy the default promo component or uh, all kinds of custom stuff, it's all configurable um, via the content editor. So let's go to the experience editor first. Um, just to show you some default behavior, I'm going to drag and drop a promo component on the page. And as you can see, you will have the option to create a new promo component item in the promos folder, the uh, central repository of your current site or underneath the current page. Um, I'm going to do that on the current page and when I hit the create button and I'm going to say promo 1, hit save, it will create a new item and it will attach it to this promo component. Now when I'm switching back to the com uh, content editor and I'm going to refresh this, you will see that underneath the promo component the local repository or the page repository item data is created and my promo one and in here you will see again the default fields so now I'm going to create my custom template first and after that we're going to create a configuration for the promo component that will tell the promo component to use the custom data template so underneath the projects um, brand A tenant I'm going to create a new folder custom templates and in here I'm just going to create a new template and I will give it a name custom promo component uh, template now I use the standard template as the base template because when I want to be um, I want to start with a blank template um, if I choose the promo component uh, template here I will, I will inherit all the default fields which I didn't want to. So let's start from blank, let's edit in the custom templates folder, hit next and then my new template is created. Um, I'm going to refresh this one, here is custom promo template and I'm going to the content, oh sorry I have to select this one. I'm in the builder so I create a promo field section and now I'm going to name my new uh, fields promo title promo abstract and I want a promo link I'm just keeping it simple promo abstract is kind of a summary so I'm giving this the multi-line text and the link is going to be a general link there it is I'm going to save Now the next step is to configure for this website um, that the promo component should use my new data template. So I'm going to the settings uh, option, the settings node, and underneath here you will have the data source configurations item. I'm going right click, insert new data source configuration, and I'm going to browse to the promo component. And that is located underneath feature experience accelerator page content and then promo okay 
and now he has created a new item, a new data source configuration um, for the promo component and as you can see it will automatically name the item promo. Now I can do all kinds of settings here um, for example allow page relative location, yes or no. Um, as we switch back to the content editor, experience editor, I'm sorry, we're going to create another component I just showed in the beginning. I have the option to create or select an item, a data source item um, from the local repository or the page repository. But if I don't want for a certain component, in this case a promo, um, to allow to store the items underneath the uh, page repository, the current page, I can uncheck this option. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to switch back. I'm going to edit one more time. And now you'll see that the uh, page repository option is gone. So that's one thing that you can do to configure um, this for the promo component. And please be aware that these settings only affect the promo component um, when it's used in the context of this website. So if I have other websites within this tenant, it will not affect those and it will also not affect all the websites in other tenants. I'm going to check it again and now I'm going to a next item which is the data source template item. In here I can select a, a different data template um, and that's exactly the one that I want to use. Um, so I'm going to templates, I'm going to project, brand A, custom templates and here is my custom promo template I've just created. So I'm going to select it, choose insert and now I'm going to save the configuration. Now there are a lot of other configurations that can be done, we will leave that for now. Um, but this is the configuration that I like for the promo component on my Brand A corporate website. So I'm going to switch back to my experience editor, I'm going to drag and drop a promo component again. And now you will notice uh, some different behavior, because when I select one of the existing promo items, you will see that I cannot use it anymore. The OK button is disabled. And this is because I have just told um, SXA and the promo component to use my custom data template. So the default data template of the promo component is not allowed anymore because it, it cannot be handled. So what I can do now is simply create a new item. I will give it a name promo custom. And as you can see it adds uh, the component um, but you will see promo icon field, promo text field as field names here and those were the defaults of SXA. So what we need to do is create a rendering variant um, and map those to the fields of our custom data template. But to show you um, that it actually already works we're going to back to the content editor and we're going to the home and my promo component page, we're going to data and as you can see here this is the promo custom item that we just created with the promo title, promo abstract and promo link. So the last thing that we're going to do is create a new rendering variant um, which tells the component that it should render the default fields of our custom data template. So I'm going to right click, insert variant definition and I say custom promo and now I simply create the fields that I want to use which is promo title and that is another field promo abstract and the last one promo link oh, promo link alright now I'm going to start with the promo title at the top and I'm going to select that the promo link is in fact a hyperlink I'm going to save it now I'm going back to my pro promo custom item just to give it some content, promo title this can, this can also be done from the experience editor of course and I'm going to insert a link and this link is going to my brand A corporate website home go to home 
insert. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to save this page because I uh, want to reload it. Yeah, that's okay. And I also want this component to get uh, uh, all the new rendering variants. So here is now my custom promo. Oh, it was already there. So you saw my promo, custom promo rendering variant already. Um, and I have selected it. Um, and as you can see, you will see promo title, promo abstract. And there you have it. Um, you have just created an, an other kind of behavior um, and attached your custom data templates to a default SXA component. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, you can do that on LinkedIn or on Twitter at Barend Emmerzaal and I'm happy to answer all of your questions. Thanks for watching and take care.